Hello, my darlings. Hello, hello. Happy Monday. When you come on, say hello. Let me know you are here. I'm just going to tag you all in because I think some people are looking for the live. So if you are watching on replay, give me a hashtag replay. Let me know you are here. Because I love to be able to see who's actually been here, who's on the replay. Hello, hello. Let's just bring up your live. There we go. So I'm here at everyone. There we go. You've all been alerted. I am live. I'm bringing up your comments. Hello, Linda. Hello, Simona. Hello, Becky. Hello, Lorraine. Hello, Christina. Hello, everyone. It makes me laugh that so many of you are in psychic school and you're here again. And I said to them all, we were doing a training tonight. And I said, do you want to be here again? If you want to, you can come on. If not, don't worry about it. And they're like, oh, no, we'll come on. And here they all are. So how amazing. Hello, Kim. Hello, my darling. Hello, hello. So guys, I'm so excited for this. I cannot wait to share with you all this insight. We are doing three-part training here, and this is all about understanding your psychic ability and having your gifts revealed. So what I want to talk about tonight is really, really key, and it is going to be very transformational to everything you've ever probably experienced with spirit before. And for all of the people that have been in my energy quite a while and already know who I am, what I do, et cetera, you're still going to learn something really key tonight. There's something tonight I'm going to share that I haven't really spoke about before. And I just want to be able to give you all the insight and all the information, all the tools that you need in order to have the success with your spiritual connection. Because in case you haven't noticed, I absolutely adore spirit. I absolutely adore spirit. I know, shock horror. Shock horror, I adore spirit. They are the best thing ever. And your connection to them is the biggest thing that will ever change your life. And the reason why it changes your life so much is because to get a great connection with them, you have to have a really great connection with yourself. And when you understand yourself and you understand your spirit guides, there is no stopping you. Literally, the world is your oyster. And more people need to know about this, more people need to experience this, more people need to understand in what context and how this relates to them and how you are special enough now, exactly as you are, to make this connection. And I can show you how it's actually going to work for you and how you can implement straight away. So if you've ever had any connection with spirit before, drop me a number one in the comments. Have you ever had any type of connection or done any kind of spiritual work before? Drop me a number one in the comments. If you've never done anything before, never done any spiritual work and you're like, I just feel pulled to do this. I just feel pulled to be part of this group. Then drop me the number two in the comments. Drop me number two if this is all brand new to you and you've never done it before. But I can guarantee you this is going to be life changing. You're going to learn so much. Now, I'm going to be giving away prizes at the end of these three trainings. And I'm going to be giving a prize to the person to qualify for the prize you have to have watched all three of the trainings and have commented all through the trainings as well. So you'll have had to have, you know, interacted. So I know that you're here. Oh, okay, so there's a lot of number ones here and there's only a few number twos. Interesting. But I'm going to give away something so incredible that you're all going to love, absolutely going to love. Now, I won't tell you what it is, but you're going to love it. It's going to be worth your wait. It's going to be worth finding out. But all you need to do is interact on every single live. So interact, watch the live and absorb it. And the reason for that is because I know a lot of people tend to watch the first trainings and then they just tend to forget about the second and third. I get it. Life's busy. You know, things get in the way. 
but you need to access all of these in order for this to make sense. So who is actually interested in receiving a prize? Who's actually interested in receiving a prize? Let me know. So to qualify, you have to watch all three and you have to have commented or engaged on all three of the trainings. The second thing you need to do is you need to take a screenshot of this group, the Talk Spirits Meet Facebook group, and you need to pop it into your social media. So you can pop it on any social media. I'm on all of them. Pop it on any social media and just make sure that you tag me in. Or if you can't tag, just send a message to my inbox with your screenshot so I know that you've done it. Okay, so just send it to me and go, I've done it, I did it, but I couldn't tag you or whatever. Because sometimes Facebook can be funny and sometimes Instagram can be weird. But just let me know that you've done that. And we just want more and more people to know about this group. We want more and more people to know that it's here. It's available for you all and you can access it. And you are going to love the prizes. And based on how many people do it, I may increase the prizes. Because I've got an idea of how many I'm going to give away, but I might give away even more. So trust me, the prize is worth you doing. Worth you doing. Okay. Ah, anyway, I'm going to share my screen because I have created for you all a little training um, that is actually going to keep us on track and just help us stay ahead of what we're covering in this topic. So I'm just going to share the screen now with you. There we go. So can you all just confirm you can see the screen on here? I can see it on my view here, but just double checking everyone else can see. That'd be great. Just drop me a little love part in the comments if you can actually see everything on the screen. And are you all excited? Drop a love part if you can see and just drop a love part if you're excited about this. So Christine saying, yes, I can see it. Holly saying, yes. Who's excited for this? You're going to learn so much tonight. I give away so much free value. And the reason for that is because I want you all to experience this. I want you all to understand spirituality. And I don't want you to give me half an hour to an hour of your time and learn absolutely nothing. I want you to come away with knowing something really key. So you guys are going to adore this. And you are going to get so much from these sessions. Because I always deliver. And so... I'm expecting you all to be my absolutely blown away by this and knowing so much. Okay, thank you for all the emojis. Fantastic. Hello, everyone just joining us. We are going to get started. So here we go. This is live one. Your true psychic ability revealed. So who am I? So I know a lot of people have joined this group today and over the past few days. So you probably don't even know who I am, which is completely normal if you've never come across me. So just to introduce myself, my name is Katie Helliwell. I'm a psychic medium. I specialize in helping people activate their spiritual abilities because I know that every single one of you has a psychic ability within you. And I have the specialty of helping you bring that out by using certain tools, techniques, and trainings, very much bespoke to you so that we can actually work out how this works for you. It's so easy to go and Google and to look at all the different ways that you can connect and be linked in with spirit. But unless it's actually relevant for you and the way you learn, you probably won't have a great deal of success with this. So this will help you really, really feel into how this is going to work for you. And this is why you're going to get the success from being part of this and also being able to understand where you can take this and what it's meant for. I do also, this is where I'm a little bit different, where I'm a little bit bespoke. I also work with high level entrepreneurs and I channel guidance for their businesses. So I call this, this is a new thing that I've been really excited to call it. It's like, I am the guided entrepreneur. So I help guide people who are entrepreneurs. And this is where they are the change makers. They're the ones that are here to bring something different out into the world and they need support more than anyone because they're there to support large audiences or they're there for a bigger purpose they're there to create a ripple effect in the world and these in entrepreneurs are the heart-centered entrepreneurs like I said they're the change makers they're here to serve others so they need to be served at the highest of levels and kept very supported and that's what I do so I help female and male entrepreneurs very much 
expressing and growing in their businesses through the spiritual guidance. It's incredible. So my gift, I've had my gift, I've said 20 years here, but it's so much longer. So I've got over 20 years working with spirit. I've gone from being totally overwhelmed. Guys, when I say I was terrified of spirit, I used to hide into the bed and throw holy water over me. That's how terrified I was because I had no control over this gift as a child. I'm also from an Irish Catholic family. So I went to a Catholic school. And although my family aren't particularly religious, as in, you know, devout Catholics or anything like that, they were never forcing any religion on me. But unfortunately, the schools I went to did. So we used to go into church and I would be told that any kind of spiritual activity or any anything you were seeing or experiencing was demons and I'd be burnt and I'd go to hell. And as a very young child in a church, it was very, very discombobulating and terrifying, to say the least, because I was so confused. I felt very safe in a church, but then I also felt absolutely terrified that my gift was going to kill me and have me burnt alive, which is why I've been so scarred for so many years. So this hasn't been an easy journey. I started off wanting to understand how I could get rid of the gift. And that's what led me to start looking into it. Like, how can I get rid of it? But now I can't ever imagine life without guidance. I don't understand how people function without guidance. Like life is so hard and there's so much going on in the world and there's so much that's expected on us more now than ever. And I genuinely don't know how people function without spirit. I really don't. So I have activated thousands globally with connection. And as a result, they have found their purpose and they've excelled. Now I've worked with, I've activated thousands of people People get activated with their spiritual gifts just watching my free content, just watching the YouTubes. But I support hundreds of people in my psychic school and take them through all the activations. And there's hundreds of you in the membership as well, in the paid membership that are also going through massive transformations. It's incredible. So every time one of you becomes activated, you fulfill something within me. So I just want to say thank you to you. Thank you to you for being here. Thank you for giving me your time because you are keeping me in my purpose and keeping me balanced and harmonized. And for that, I thank you. <laughs> okay, so what to expect from tonight? So it's not always easy to know if you need to develop your psychic ability. Usually when people find me, they usually have about four to five senses activated, as in their ears, they can hear spirit, they can see spirit, they can taste odd things, they're experiencing oddities. And usually they've been nudged so much that they just have to stop ignoring spirit. And that's when they usually come and find me. So I try and raise awareness about your psychic abilities now so you don't get to that point. So it doesn't become overwhelming for you. But we need to find out your psychic ability. That's the number one aspect that we're going to do. We also need to find out why you have it. Because believe me, you could have clairaudience or clairvoyance, but you've got it for a reason. There's not, it's not just something that's been plucked out of the sky and just given to you just because. It's not something that you go, oh yeah, I can always do that. And I didn't really realize that. And oh, that's great. It's actually something that is there for you. It's an ability, but we also want to know how we can help you with understanding what it's meant for so that you have your purpose fulfilled and it actually works for you. You know, it is meant to work for you. It's meant to help you. Now, full disclosure here, I'm very open, very honest. If you just met me, you'll understand this. I don't sugarcoat anything. I'm very soft and gentle, by the way, very loving. But also, I'm very upfront with my offers and how you can progress. So this training is completely free. The Facebook group you're watching this training in, if you are watching it on Facebook, is Talk Spirit to Me Facebook group. And everything in this group is completely free. You are currently in my free membership. You are very welcome to stay there as long as you desire and absorb all the content. But I will be offering people a chance at the end of the three trainings to come into a paid program with me, which is my psychic school, or you can come into the Talk Spirit to Me paid membership. Now, there are a few other things that you can do in addition to that, but this is to help you continue your spiritual journey to really divulge and really access what you're here to do and learn all of the above in more detail. The reason I give so much free value away because people always ask me, why do you do so much free value? You are live all the time. You're always here, you're always giving, you're always giving. 
And it's because when this is because of my wound, because when I was growing up, there was nothing. There was nothing around. There was no internet. It was one of those old dial-up cables and, you know, the sound and there was nothing around. There was only spiritualist churches and I never felt comfortable in them. So I found that it's my calling and I feel fulfilled giving you some value because it is daunting for some, not for everyone, but it is for some. And to experience this and understand what you're getting yourself into, because there is a lot of fluff out there and there's a lot of scarcity out there. And there's a lot of people that aren't fully genuine with their services and what they offer. So I feel that if I give you the insight of what to expect and really teach you everything that will get you started, you can make a conscious adult decision from yourselves as to whether this is the right time for you to move forward. So I just want to be of service to you to help you understand how this is relevant, because like I said, there's so much out there and it's not all positive. And I'm here to clear the fluff, clear the drama, clear all the rubbish out of the way so you can make that decision for yourself. So let's get on with this. Your true psychic ability revealed. So this is already within you. Your psychic ability is within you. Every single one of you is psychic. And I don't want to hear anyone. In fact, I will remove you from the group. Joking, by the way. I'm not that mean. But you just need to know at this moment in time that you, Mary, you, Debbie, you, Deb, you, Brittany, you've all got the same names, you, Kelly, you are all gifted. You're all psychic. Every single person on the human planet is psychic, every single one of you. You're not here tonight to debate whether you're psychic. And if you are, jump off the live stream because it's just, and get out the group because you just won't get it. <laughs> I'm joking. So it's, but in all seriousness, I do, I say I'm joking, but I'm being serious. We're not here to convince you that psychic ability is there and that it's something real. We're here to tell you that you are psychic and if you are looking to understand what ability you may have then this is the right place to be so that's what this group is for you're psychic we know you are and what gift have you got so every single one of you has a gift that is currently active now within you and we're going to find out what that actually is okay so let's get started on that sorry if that sounded really bossy and harsh but it's true <laughs> you are all gifted so in order to do this, we're going to strip you back. Now, don't worry, I'm not going to make you all get naked or anything like that on the camera. I mean, we're going to strip back you and your rawity and understand who you actually are. And the reason for that is because the clues to what your gift actually is have always been around you and within you. And the difference is it's going to feel so unspecial. I think a lot of people, when they make this breakthrough, they expect to have like, all the angels and the choir singing and all of the, the energy and all the power and stuff, but actually sometimes it can feel really unspecial. And the reason for that is because it will feel so normal to you. So often this leads us to just totally disregarding our gift. We just think it's just like, it can't be that, it can't be that, that thing I've had all my life that I haven't even thought twice about that's just me and just accept it. How can that be all connected to my purpose, my gift and everything else? But I wrote a post today and I'll read it out to you in a minute. But and it's not very long, don't worry. But I wrote a post today and I put it on my TikTok probably later tonight. No, I've done it. I've already done it. I'm one step ahead. I put it on my TikTok today. And it's about understanding that your ordinary is your extraordinary. So what is normal to you is what's extraordinary to you. So let me just quickly read this out to you, this Facebook post, because it will, if you haven't already seen it, if you don't follow my personal page, then you won't have seen it, but I will read it out to you now. So your extraordinary abilities won't feel extraordinary to you as it will be ordinary to you. Yet to everyone else, it will feel extraordinary. If it did feel extraordinary to you, it would be overwhelming for you to share. However, don't let the ordinary feeling mean you don't give your extraordinary gifts to others. So I hope that makes sense and I hope that lands for you because 
we have so many amazing abilities as psychics, as connectives, as soulful individuals, yet we don't share them because we see it as so normal. We see them as just something normal. And let me give you a few examples of this. Like as a child, I always had visions. I always saw visions. I always saw images in my head and movie trailers and like, you know, when they play, you know, when you go to the cinema and they have movie trailers at the start of the film, that's what I used to see in my head about different people. So I didn't understand why I was seeing them. And I was told I just had a really vivid imagination by my teachers, by everyone, just got a vivid imagination. And it's like, but no, that was my ability to see. When someone was talking to me, I could see their house. I could see their relatives next to them. I could see all sorts. So my ability was that I could see. I was a clairvoyant. I could see that's my strong gift. But to me, I just thought I was playing crazy. There was a lady I connected with last week. She's joined psychic school and she, she said to me, um, I put an offer out in the group. You may have seen it to have readings. And anyway, she sent me this question about what it was that she was supposed to do with a gift. She couldn't quite understand what she was supposed to do. I just kept seeing this drawing and drawing and drawing and these pens and they were saying creativity, creativity. And I was like, creativity? And they're like, combine the creativity with the psychic, combine the creativity with the psychic. And I said to you, you've got a creative skill and they want you to combine the two together and that's what they've been trying to show you to do. Anyway, it turns out this lady is an exquisite. And when I say exquisite, absolutely exceptional drawer. I've never seen drawings like it in my life, ever. She's incredible. And she then said, oh my God, I can't believe I've done this. I've actually realized that every time I've been drawing, I've been told what shade to use, what pen to use. And I didn't re realize I was being guided. So she was actually psychically drawing. She was being channel drawn. She was connected, but she didn't realize because she didn't know that was her gift because she'd been doing it for so long and it comes so natural. She didn't realize that she was actually being guided with the pens. Because sometimes when you go into a room that's full of noise, you don't realize every little aspect of what's going on in that room. It takes something to strip it back. You know, we've had people that, so let me try and think of another one for you where it was just their normal. Another one, a lady today I read for, and she's also doing spiritual work with me. And she just happened to book a reading. And she said to me, I just don't understand my main psychic dominant sense. And all I could see was zone, zoning out and her zoned out and in a daydream and spirit going, we're coming to her in a daydream, we're coming to her in a daydream. We're zoning out with her. Every time she zones out, she's connected to us. And I said, you daydream and you zone out and that's when you receive. She's like, oh my God, I realise that. I, I'm always zoned out, I'm always receiving, I'm always daydream. I didn't understand that was me connecting. I didn't understand that that's what happened. But yes, that's when I've had this through, that's when I've had that through, that's when I've got this. She's like, how can I've done that all these years and I've not known how can I just have that epiphany now and the weight just got lifted from her because she's always done it always you know I've always supported the change makers my whole life and I'll tell you more on that later on but it's always there for you so you've always been at this moment in time now you've been guided with your gift your gift is already trying to be shown to you. Your purpose with that gift has already been trying to shown to you as well. And we're going to uncover it, uncover it now because I know you're going to have a breakthrough moment with this. I know it's going to make sense to you. And I know it's going to just really land. So give me some love parts in the comments. An actual physical emoji is so far you're understanding or you're relating to what we're saying so far. Let me know. Give me some love hearts in the actual comments so I can see. Because I don't ever see the actual. If you press the love heart emoji, I don't see it when I'm live. Um, but thank you if you are pressing it. <laughs> lovely. You're all resonating. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. It's so lovely that so many of you, I see some of the same names coming back. And it just really makes me smile that so many of you come and rewatch things and you come and absorb the training. So I'm so grateful. To to obviously all the newbies coming in but I'm also so grateful to the people that watch all the time and I really appreciate you thank you okay fabulous 
Yes, love hearts via text. Yes. Lovely. Okay. So why reveal your gifts? So there's many ways to connect and it's easy to follow the crowd. Yet you will find unless we uncover your raw ability, you will always feel a disconnect. Second guessing your ability. So I really want to say this now, and I say this with, with the best intention ever. And I, I, everything I'll ever say to you and share with you, it always comes from a place of what's actually best for you and your development. So I'm sorry if this offends anybody, but also I'm saying it for the right reasons. But when I talk about your raw ability, this is what I'm interested in. This is what your spirit guides have burst to come out of you. So I want you to put down spiritual tools. And what I mean by that is I need you to start with the cards. I need you to start with the angel cards. I need you to stop texting those services where you can get a reading for whatever it is. And I know that sometimes they bring you comfort and I know people can be in pain and I do respect that and I do understand that. But when you are uncovering your raw ability and building a connection with your guides, you need to step away from the junk. And I'm calling it junk because that's what it is. It's not a true reflection of a message that is right for you. It's mixed messages, mixed energy, and we need to uncover the real message coming forward to you. So please step away from tarot cards, just even temporarily. You don't have to be forever, but just whilst you are doing this week with me, even if you just do it for this week, but if you do come into developing and taking your gift further, just I will encourage you to keep stepping away until we've got your raw ability really clear. So I want you to step away from those. I want you to step away from the cards. I want you to put down the pendulums. I want you to almost stop leaning in on spiritual people. And we need you to stand in your own rarity and your own connection. The connection that's within you. Because if you start basing a spiritual connection on using tools outside of yourself, and outside of that link between you and your guides, you have a diluted message. And when you receive a diluted message, because it's not pure, it's not fresh, it's not clear, you could be receiving a mixed message. So it could be something that you've taken out of context. And so many of you ask me, am I actually receiving what I'm supposed to receive? Am I actually missing signs? Am I actually missing connection? Am I missing messages from spirit and the answers are you probably are you probably are if you're using all these tools because the reason that it's not coming through clear and the reason you question it is because there's all of these tools in the way it's all of these things blocking the flow so we just need to put them aside and like I said it doesn't have to be forever but give me the one in the comments if you are definitely going to put them away even for this week even for this week and just say no to them right now. Just park them just for now. And then let's allow your raw ability to come through. Because those tools will be stopping your raw ability coming through. They'll be stopping your connection coming through in the depths of what it is there to be connected with. We want you to be able to experience you allowing you to come to the forefront, your magic and your all. That's what we want. So we don't want any tools magic and all christina of course not you're in psychic school you don't need them <laughs> thank you guys thank you for all the ones fabulous okay amazing so this is where it's going to get into the nitty-gritty guys so i need your attention okay so this is where we're going to find all the answers in this part so we're going to spend quite a lot of time here um, but I'll try and keep this two times. So I'll try and finish by 10 because otherwise it gets a bit late for everyone. But I've done this session so late because in the UK, by the way, I've done this less, uh, session late in the UK and all of the other sessions because you guys are all over the world and the time suits US and it suits Australia and it suits um, parts of Europe. So I'm just trying to make sure that we appear to everyone as much as possible. OK, so are you ready? OK. Let's pay attention to your current job. We're going to explore you now in depth. So what have you been led to do in your life, in your career, what you get paid to do in your job, 
is often very linked to your psychic ability. So I meet many, many people that come to me and are nurses that work in the health profession. Some are doctors, some are dentists, some are carers, but they are people that look after people. Now, those types of people quite often have the raw ability of healing because they want to make people feel better. They want to look after people. They feel a call to look after them. So how can they help these people? They can help them by studying medical profession. So their soul has this connection to helping people. But then their human mind's like, how can I help people? And I still need to live and earn and live in and be human. And the way to do that is I'm going to go and be a nurse or I'm going to go and be a doctor. I'm going to heal people with medicine, heal people with my time and give to people. So often these people are linked to this job. It's also a sense of if you're meant to guide people and give them support, quite often people become hairdressers. You know, I don't know about you guys, but my hairdresser is like a best friend. They become teachers. They become college student mentors. They become people who are trainers in businesses. These people are ones that want to give and support and help. And quite often they're meant to be the listener. They're meant to be listeners, guidance counselors, psychologists, the amount of psychologists that are actually spiritual souls that are so connected is incredible. I've met so many of them, so many of them. Yep, yeah, see, so Ola's already making it, a link. She's helped others with a job. Jody's saying, I'm a hairdresser, I went to college when I was 30. Yep, yeah, see, this is how it's all linked. There are specific jobs usually that people tend to do and feel drawn to when they have a natural raw psychic ability that's meant to do more. And these are the jobs I'm listing. Now, I, I when I was in my PA days, so I don't know if anyone knows this, um, some of the newbies won't, but basically I used to um, work as a PA in higher education and I helped people that were change makers. So I worked one-on-one -on -one with them and I worked with the people that were the head of sciences and creating robots and these robots were go on to help people in like the armed services and they created incredible things that you guys use now that I can't say I can't say some of them but things that you use every day they create so they were change makers they provided funding for people and schools to help them help them learn robotics and learn coding that's why coding's in school so they gave so much good out into the world then I went on to work for a lady that was looking to bring political peace out in the world in certain aspects in certain countries she was an incredible lady sport and she was one of my favorite people she was a heart of gold really genuine really really genuine and she's just yeah and to support her and watch her make the change was incredible and when I worked with people that weren't change makers I couldn't stay I couldn't stay for the ones that were just in it just to make themselves grow and there was no there was no knock-on effect it just didn't serve me and the reason for that was because what do I do now I activate people's spiritual abilities and I help people with their change making, they, they, the entrepreneurs, they're change makers. But when you connect to your spiritual ability, you change your whole life. And if you're changing your life and you enhance your life, then you go on to give that on a much grander scale. So think about what you've done. You know, we've got people out here that are journalists and you feel always read, always been led to read out loud in church and you're now on the radio, yes. So if you think about it, journalists are responsible for getting their message out there. So your spiritual ability 
could be and what I feel for you is that you're meant to get other spiritual people's messages out there, meant to raise awareness in that media and change the media's view of it. So all of these things, there's a lot of you here that are healers and there's a lot of you that aren't working that I can read in the comments due to mental health issues, etc. But again, when you're not in your purpose and you're not connected to your guides and your you're probably the most empathetic soul. Spiritual people are the most empathetic souls. So if you're an underdeveloped psychic and you've got a few senses activated, you're going to feel everyone's emotions and it does take a toll on your mental health. So it doesn't surprise me at all. But we can help you with this. Okay, so personal training, helping people feel good in their bodies and be healthy. Again, it's a form of healing and strength. It's empowerment to help people be empowered when they feel strong and healthy in their bodies. They're empowered to go on the clear channels for people. So you could be the personal trainer that helps people be cleansed and ready and powerful to be able to channel at a higher level. The more fitter I am, the more pure my channeling is. And now I go to the gym every day. I do. You've heard it from me. I go to the gym every day. I'm getting fitter by the moment and I'm actually seeing a change. Am I channeling through the roof? So can you see this for you? Can you see how what you've done and the things that you've done in your life all reflects back? So if you think about when you are, if you haven't got a job, because I know some of you said I haven't got jobs. Um, if you haven't got a job, what do people come to you for? What do people ask of you? What do they want from you? What do they always say? Let me just have a quick drink. What do they always say to you? And what are you drawn to explore in the spiritual sense? Like, what is it you're drawn to? So you're all here on psychic ability. You want to know what your psychic ability is revealed. You want to learn about all these things. So what is it that you're drawn to in particular? What have you previously done? Because by the time anyone gets to me, usually, like my one to one clients in particular, they tend to have gone on and done, you know, Akashi Records. They've done hypnotherapy. They've studied Reiki. They've gone on to do shamanism. They've done all sorts of things except gone into their raw ability. And they come to me because they say, I just can't, I just can't still missing something something's still not right I'm like yeah because you you've done the advertisement all of the things that you know they're not bad things guys they're not awful things to learn they're fantastic but they're not your raw ability so it's best to start with bringing out your raw psychic ability what you're here for and then after you've activated that go on and learn whatever you want you'll be learning it from a more powerful embodied place so it's only going to land for you you're not learning it from a searching energy. It's completely different. So think about what you've actually had in the spiritual sense, what you've been drawn to actually explore, because this is the key. So how do you learn new things? This is another key thing. How do you learn new things? Like, Whenever I'm learning new things, I have to be listening and watching. So I have to be watching something on a screen. I like to see people's face. I like to see what they're about. And I like to, I like to understand like their energy and where they're at. So how do you learn new things? Maybe you're a reader, but there's a key to this as well. So Liz listens to YouTube, so you are visual then because YouTube's always got some kind of video or something going on. So you're visual. So you learn through visuals. So that's probably why you enjoy showing up to a live stream. I like to do things. So Heidi, you're an action taker. You like to do it something at the same time. So. If you're listening to a podcast, for example, Heidi, or a training, you probably want to do the washing at the same time or walk on a treadmill or draw 
scrawl on a piece of paper or doodle or do something with your hands. Percy is auditory. So she likes to listen. So she probably likes to sit and listen and she goes off someone's vibration, their voice and what they're about. She can feel it. Jodie, you're the same. You're, you're watching videos. So Claire's talking, chatting with people. So again, it's more of a community spirit, Claire, that would suit you. Groups, groups would suit you. That's how you would learn from other people, groups of people together. So you would benefit from being in a spiritual group. Yeah, exactly. I like to see and get involved. So Jodie likes to watch and she likes to be involved with other people as well and partake. That's why you love the live streams. So you learn from doing lives. You learn from being present in the moment. I love to be able to share with you on a live stream, but I love to hear back from you as well. I respond well and become a better mentor for you guys when I can hear you and I can see what's going on with you. Much better. Listen and do something, yeah. Heather likes to watch and listen then do, yeah. So make a note of that because how you actually learn is how you can start your connection with spirit. You can weave all of this together. This is all key. So thinking about your current job, what do you do? What are you drawn to explore in the spiritual sense? You might wanna screenshot this, this slide. How do you learn new things? Now I want you to think about what are your natural talents? What are your natural talents? So what is it you're naturally good at? I'm good at connecting to people. It's a talent I've always had. Never had to try, I can connect to you, anyone. So what is your natural talent? You know, some people are really good dancers. My daughter, for example, she's a dancer. She came out of the womb dancing. I always joke about it. She dances for England, by the way, now. I'm one of those proud mommies. So she's, um, I'm telling everyone, and she's just won. She's just won at Dance World Cup. She's amazing. So her natural talent is dancing. She, she danced. I remember being at her baptism, right? We had, she was 18 months old, a bit old getting her christened. And we had a disco. And instead of, because she loves music so much, and she was always dancing, she was 18 months old. And she would not let me mingle at all around this party. She grabbed my hand. She took me to the dance floor. She got big, big blue eyes, a blonde hair looking at me. And she just held my hand the whole party, and she just jumps up and down and dance, the whole party. She was always like that. And every time anyone tried to come and talk to me, she'd just keep dancing and push them out of the way. She just wanted to dance, dance, dance. That's all she did. And so now it's no shock she's a dancer and she's going to a dance school. <laughs> like, no shock. That's what she is. So think about it. What is it that you naturally do understand yourself because when you understand yourself you understand your key and if you don't know what your talent is Christina said I don't know what my natural talent is ask somebody what your natural talent would be ask them for advice what do you think my natural talent is don't be scared to ask people don't be scared to explore it and look into it because remember what is your extraordinary, you will see as your ordinary. You won't see it as a talent, you'll see it as well. Can't everyone do that? No, they can't. So allow yourself to understand you. This is your time. Because your connection to spirit can be really quick. But it can be really slow if you try and bypass trying to get to know yourself. So don't do that. Don't make it hard on yourself. Okay, is everyone screenshot? Does everyone screenshot this page? If not, please can you screenshot? Just so you've got this to come back on. I'll take a photo if you watch on the laptop, what have you. But remember, you can watch on replay as well. Sorry, I'm taking ages with this training. Is everyone okay for time? Just let me know that you're all okay. Tell me you've screenshot and yes, okay for time in the comments. 
Yeah, Jody says fine. Yeah. You all okay? I'm just conscious that I'm taking up a lot of your time. Hi, Sharon. I was talking about you earlier on here. I didn't say your name though. Yes and yes. Yes. Okay. You're all okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Right. So this is the question I love. I love this question. How have you been guided back to spirit? Now, what I mean by that is you are always being guided back to spiritual development and spirit. So this is the key. This is the key because every single time I used to always be guided back to spirit. Every time I tried to go off on a tangent, do something else, I'd always be guided back to spirit, back to development, back to psychic connection, back, back, back. So have a little think to yourself. Have you tried to block out your gifts? Maybe you had experiences when you were a child and maybe you have had those experiences but kind of just blocked it out because it got too much and you didn't want to do it and you didn't have the time for it so you just you just block spirit out you just kind of disconnected for whatever reason it might not be childhood it could have been later on in life but you've done things where you've tried to block them out but have spirit led you back to them and they do this in the most wondrous ways they will start hiding things from you. They'll start playing with your electrics. They'll start pushing content like this in front of you. They will give you nudges. And every time you try and do something else that's not meant for you, they'll sabotage it and put you back into the spiritual nudge. They will make sure you get the message. Yep, your dreams, they'll keep you awake. They'll have you up at 3 a.m. They'll have throbbing in between your eyebrows. You'll see shadows at corner of your eyes. They'll have song messages that will just drive you bonkers because you won't understand why you're feeling this way listening to songs. You'll have the angel numbers everywhere. They will, they will try everything, everything to get your attention. And if you're like, oh, I've just had a period of my life without spirit and it's just been like, I've just been so busy with life. And I'm, I'm totally get it. We all do. But then guess what? Here they are, like Wallace and Gromit, <laughs> waving at you. <laughs> like, where's Wally in the picture? He's there. That's your spirit guide in his stripy top. I'm here. Hello. <laughs> they will find a way to get you paying attention. They will drive you insane. <laughs> now, what and how have they led you back to develop? This is more keys about your raw abilities. So what have they done to lead you back? So a couple of you sharing some of your insights here, amazing. But what are they actually doing now to grab your attention? Are they popping up everywhere? And I don't think you can use your social media as kind of a guide because I think the, the algorithm kind of just puts you in front of it. So we won't use that as an example, but if someone's tagged you in on something on socials and it's about spirituality, yet you've never said anything. And then they're like, I just felt that you would benefit from this. It's like, oh, okay. So yes, orbs as well. Yes, forgot about orbs. All of these things. So that's the one thing. So what and how have your guides led you back to development? Another screenshot, please, my darlings. Screenshot this. And then the second thing is, the biggest thing is, when they've led you back, at what point in your, your life have they done this? What's been going on in your life? What have they done? Like, what is it that people have, like, what is going on within you? Has it been a time when you've been at a crossroads? Has it been a time when you've been trying to make big decisions? Has it been a time when you've lost someone so dear to you? When is it? that you keep getting these back is it when you've needed support and you're unwell maybe you're suffering something and it's just like why am I being led back now why now so pay attention to what point in your life because every time that I ever got led back was when I was at one of those points that I've just listed and it's because spirituality is the grounding it's the thing that holds you together 
and it's the thing that will save you and it's the thing that will grow you and it's the thing that will expand you and it will be the thing that really helps you tap into what you're really here for there's nothing like it so think about what point you're at when you have these moments so I told you this is going to be a lot of work for you and this is going to be I say it's a lot of work but it's going to be a lot of remembering. So you are going to have to screenshot this and you're going to have to work on it. And you're going to have to come back and watch number two to understand how it all links, okay? So I'm giving you a lot of information here. So I'm going to end this with the spiritual practice. And this is to cleanse the way within you so that spirit can come through and give you the guidance that you're getting here. Now, what I mean by that is, what we've gone through has been a lot of issues, been a lot of going back. It's been a lot of recapping. It's been a lot of you having to think about your previous life and your life now and making that connection. So what we're going to do is cleanse the energy around that to give you clarity and give you peace. So this is a calming spiritual practice to, to do that for you, to allow yourself to just settle into this energy. Okay. So I am going to need a little bit of space and time. So if you are doing this and you're multitasking, because I often do things like that, you are going to need to just sit down for a moment or just stop the live and then come back and watch the end another day. But just give this your moment, your time, your energy and your space. And I'm just going to stop the share on here. There we go. I'm back. And I want you to close your eyes for me. And just take a deep breath in and out. I'm simply just going to place a crystal, a selenite crystal, just in front of you all now. And I'm just going to gently circle the crystal. And I'm going to cleanse your energy. This is disconnecting and wiping away any insecurities, any worries any overwhelm from the information you've currently received, any fear attached to your psychic ability, any imposter syndrome, anything that might be holding you back. I'm just removing this nice and gently away from you. And we're cleansing you to create space to receive, to receive spirit at the highest level, with purity and light and empowerment. We're just cleansing this. We're going to ask your spirit guides to look after you. To give you the strength to see your raw ability. To give you clarity in these moments of confusion. To give you strength to understand your ability and what you are here to do. Now we're just going to place this crystal on your heart to release any emotion where you've been trying to do everything all by yourself. You've been led to many different avenues, but there's been confusion over which one is right for you. Just cleansing that energy, allowing yourself that space. Awesome. I'm going to ask spirit guides to just protect us and keep us safe, keep us grounded, keep us guided, to allow ourselves to be led, <clears throat> to allow ourselves to feel, <clears throat> excuse me, to allow ourselves to let through the guidance and love and allow ourselves to shine.
I'm just going to cleanse over your head any residual energy. Now we're just moving down to your tummy area. We're filling you with empowerment and balance. And removing any toxicity attached. So you're free to grow and expand and receive with ease and flow. And continue to send empowerment to you all, balance and calm. You are worthy of your ability, you're worthy of your connection, you're worthy of growth. We love you. Now just take a deep breath in and out. Bring yourself back to the moment now. Oh, here we go, my darlings. Sorry about my voice there. Spirit, we're trying to break through and enter and channel. And I said, no, you can just tell me the words to say. So I had to just clear my throat there. That's what they do when they want to channel. So thank you so much for joining me, my darlings. Thank you so much for being present and here and give me your time. I'll be live on Wednesday at 9 p.m. So this Wednesday come in which is the 19th of July with part two. I look forward to receiving you and having you there. If you have watched this on replay, let me know that you've watched. I hope that you felt that practice there and that cleanse. Um, thank you for all the thank yous, thank you. Just let me know that you've enjoyed this. I hope it's been good for you. Yeah, all the shivers, Heidi, love that. You're so welcome, everyone. Thank you for being here appreciate you. I know that time is a commodity we never get back. So I'm so grateful that you give me your space and your time. And yes, thank you very much, my darlings. I will see you all on Wednesday, 9 p.m. Thank you so much. And remember the competition, screenshot the group, send it out to the people, let them know this is available, let them know to join, and you will be in with a chance to win something incredible. Okay, I love you all so much. Thank you, my darlings. I'll see you all soon. Take care and enjoy the rest of your evenings or days, wherever you are in the world. I love you all so much. Bye.